don't know. Hopefully somebody will come in. Hope everybody's all right. On this lovely Saturday, it's grotty and rainy outside. It's not very nice outside there. I wasn't going to go live, but then I thought, oh, it's suggesting my own life to me now. So that's got to be alright for the algorithm if it's suggesting my own lives to me. Can't be too bad. Just check, no one else is on, so I thought I'd just come on and just unpack something that I bought from Kirsten of Kirsten's Curiosities. Got it very quick, and it's it's very well packed. So I, yeah, it should be all good. How is everybody? Been out and done my parcels this morning. I've got a couple more to do that have got to be done by tomorrow now. And uh, yeah, getting on top. I've got to go shopping, so no, I don't want to go shopping. Hate going food shopping. Hate it. I hope everybody's okay. So it's just started raining. My son's been out and flown his remote control aircraft three times today. He loves it. So I've just gone out to do that again. Can't see any comments. So if I type in a comment. See whether that starts it off. Like I say. I've had a couple of times I've had a bit of trouble with the with the comments. My chat's broken. Ah, it's just come up now. It's just come up, Jay. It's done that a few times now. So who have we got? So so it's strange this chat, how it doesn't work sometimes. Hi Chaz, hi Rich, hi Leanne, hi Joan. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't. It's done it a couple of times now and it can't be my computer, I wouldn't have thought. Why would it not work it? Hi Jay. Yeah, all good. Kept saying error. Really strange. That's why, sort of, I learned from last time that if it doesn't work, I type in a message and it usually kicks it off. But I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with it. Perhaps they're sticking little glitches in there now, so that you think, oh, I can't be doing with this. I'm going to pay for the proper one. Hi, Ian. How you doing? Yeah, I hope you're all good. Hope everybody's well and doing nice things on this Saturday. Uh, I haven't really done any, made any sales since last weekend, really, because, like I say, the, the most of the things that sell are the film props I've put on for my brother and my brother. Um, and there he is now. Um, yeah, so um, that's what that is. I'm just going to take this call quick, guys. Sorry. I'm just going to answer him.
Sorry about that, everyone. I know you don't want to come on and just watch it unmuted with me on the phone. It's quite an important call I had to take. So, I've got my parcel from Kirsten, Kirsten's Curiosities. So thank you, Kirsten, if you watch this um, video. Really well packed. Really well packed. I'll take my address off. Um, yeah, as I was saying, because um, I do the film props with my brother, it's the only things that we do that we do on a seven day auction. Everything else of mine goes on to a bite now. Um, so my stuff just sells when it sells and when we put the film props on, just a bundle of them ends at the same time. Um, so at the moment, lucky enough, I mean, I'm going up to my brother's tomorrow. Um, it was just him saying about doing some stuff at the stables and that. But um, So we need to get out done. It's supposed to be snowing. It's supposed to be snowing in, down this way again. Well, we never got it last time at Littlehampton, but it's supposed to be heading this way. It's supposed to be heading to Surrey again. Um, and I've got to take my brother for his treatment to the hospital on Monday. So it might be a bit of a mad old weekend. Um, and then next week, we're going to list a load of stuff um, this weekend coming up. So hopefully I haven't got any too much to do next week and then I can get my racking done. I've put notice in at the storage unit um, and I've told them that I might have to still stay on there but at the moment everything's up in the air. I'm trying to get stuff sorted out at home and um, hopefully get everything back to my house and in the racking once I get down there. I'm, I was hoping it was going to dry out this week and I was going to be able to get it done but uh, it hasn't happened at the moment. I bought this off Kirsten. Um, I mean, you know, it's just she's got this shop and she can't open it or anything, and it's such a shame. And I saw this thing. I had a quick look through, and I saw this thing, and I liked the saying on it. I just thought it was really nice, really good saying. That's why I taken it off. Uh, so, yeah. So sales for me have been very quiet this week. I sold a pair of trainers that I bought for tenner. I just sold for a hundred quid. I've had them on for ages. I started them at one six nine nine five or something, or one five nine nine five. But they're in really good nick with a tread and that. So I've sold them ten pound into a hundred. By the time you take fees out and your postage is included and all that, I'll probably get about. Uh, 75 80 quid but I paid a tenner and it gets rid of them um, but they're 375 quid brand new on eBay so he's had a bargain I've sold a puzzle jigsaw puzzle actually I think I bought it down Jay <laughs> down Jay flipping sloths way I think I paid a pound for it yeah I did I bought it when I went down to Jay down to his area I went down to see my brother, and my brother lives near Jay. So, hi, Rich. Hi, Mark. So, it's been trash after a £350 day yesterday. So, yeah, so I sold a puzzle that I went and got from a charity shop down by Jay um, ages ago. She's really packed this well. Um, and, uh, yeah, sold it for fourteen ninety five. And I've packed it up now, Jay, but it was, um, hang on, it was a high GBPA doing my friend. I'll show you what it was, Jay. So I only came on just a, it was that puzzle there, look. Egyptian art puzzle. Went for 14.95 plus 3.50 postage. That was all right for a pound. If you're having guests on the live today, let me know on board. Do you, you can come on if you want. Do you want to come on? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Oh, the dogs are going mad. Sorry, this was only going to be a quick thing, but you're welcome to come on. Uh, 
do, do, do. I'll put the link in there. What did you sell? I missed it. Yeah, it was a nice little, nice little puzzle, that. There you go. There's the link. Yeah, so Kirsten's packed this really well. So it's not just in a single box. Look, she's doubled it up. She's taped it again in the middle. And she's even got, look, corners on it. And all that, wrapped with the corners on it. Let me put Jay on. Let me put Jay on. Go right, mate. What's up, you? Right. Yeah, not bad, thanks. Good, good. Let me get rid of that, and then we'll do the big reveal. I really liked this when I saw it on her channel, on her on her shop, and uh, it's got a great saying. Look at that. Life has no limitations. What does it say, the one? Except the ones you make. I love that. That's that's like what is it? Like a steampunky? Yeah. Uh, kind of. Vampire just cool. Yeah. I just think it's really cool. Is it metal? Yeah. Mm. So that's going on my uh that's going on my backdrop when I get it all set up, my filming backdrops. I think the saying on that's amazing. Hang on, I just gotta pop that. That's out wicked. So yeah, that's wicked that. Thank you, Kirsten. Love it. What store was that from? I'll have a look through if you put the Kirsten's link in it's Kirsten's Curiosity. She's got a shop. Um, an actual physical shop. Oh, she's right. now she's now started her website, which is Kirsten's Curiosities. I mean, dot co dot uk or dot com or dot uh, co dot uk, I think. But that's just really nice. I like that. How do you spell curiosities? I am terrible at spelling. C u r i o s i t i e s. That's missed an i. Typical. Oh, there we go. It's a wicked shop, though. It's got loads of signs on it. Oh, uh, was this the one? Was it Nick that um, advertised this one as well? I can't remember. I saw this from. It might houses. be. Yeah, it's, yeah, it might be. Oh, excuse me. That's me making noise. Link my. Yeah, my my sales yesterday were insane. Like, I think I sold like 16 things for 350 pound. That's good. But then today they've just like fallen completely off the cliff. Yeah. Well, I've had six sales, but they just the, the the monetary value of them six sales just happened to be low. If that makes sense. So, yeah. That's all right. with that. Sales, isn't it? Yeah. Happy with the number that sold, just not so much the uh, the value yeah, the of. After a three fifty day, you're like, oh, please carry yeah, on. Yeah, so no, you, think, you just think, oh, I hope tomorrow's the same. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. I, I sort of earned. Uh, my brother gave me some money for helping him out and stuff, and like, you know, you sort of have a few quid there, and you think, oh, that's all right. And then you go, I've got to go shopping. I've got to pay the. I've got to pay the loan. I've got to do that. And then by the time you look at it, you've got probably lucky if you got a tenner in your pocket. I sold um. I bought a big lot of stock from a stock, sorry, from a, another reseller in the area that I was moving away. Mm. I spent three hundred pound on it. I got it all. Is that the big well, houses? No, no, no. This was one I got previous from that. Um, the big houses are separate, but they're actually doing really well. Mm. Uh, but I got all pretty much all of that stuff listed. It's about eighteen hundred pounds once it's all sold. But I had a old school projector, you know, like the ones that they'd like put out, and it yeah. come in a really nice like carry leather uh suitcase and that sold for a hundred pound i was just thinking we could have bundled it with the um projector screen with, oh with a, with a projector screen yeah i know it's still on now i've had a few questions and that and people ask but like never never really more than a few nibbles i think i'll have yeah. to talk about yeah. it again but say for the price of three quid it was um that was crazy it's so yeah. nice though that's the thing like and that's that that's the thing of it it is nice it's a nice old piece and like i say i'm i'm just i've just put the um noticing on my storage unit because i was going to do all that out and then i'm thinking there's so much going on at a minute and um so i'd rather just try and get it all sorted down here i've got loads of crap in there i can just throw away 
Yeah. And I reckon yeah. I'll fit it all in down there, just get a few racks in it, and uh, I'll be able to get it all sorted down here rather than lump out 200 and odd quid a month. It's just an extra 214, 15 quid I could be, you know, not how, playing it. How, how big's your garden? The garden's quite big. Um, could you not like, could you not, not like, massive. could you not save the 250 for like a year and then get a massive shed? I don't think I'd be able to put anything more in there than what I've already got because it's quite, it's not huge, huge, but it's, you've got like a summer house side of it, which I want to turn into a, like a mini pub. Yeah. And then the other the other bit of storage, I've got another shed behind it because it's a bit of an odd shaped garden at the back. So I've got another six foot tall by three foot wide by uh, three foot long by two foot wide. Why? Uh, shed at the back as well. Why, so why don't you just why don't you just rent a really small locker and make that your bar? Rent <laughs> what? No, no, I, I, want, I, want, take, I, I want a mini pub in the bottom of my garden. Yeah, so. Take take the pub to the locker and then you can yeah. just have a few mates over That's the locker. It, yeah, just charge. Yeah, five, <laughs> five, five pound entry. I've got all the wood and everything. I bought the wood and, and that ages ago and then like got furloughed and just filled it up with crap. So I've got all the stuff to build a bar. I've got two beer pumps in the boxes still waiting for the to get the torpedoes in them and chill them up. And st I've got everything I need to do. I just got to do it. And in yeah, that, while, while I'm in there, I want to build like um, I want to build like a nice filming backdrop as well. So I'm thinking about putting this curtain up in the back somewhere. Film pop curtain from. Vikings, I've got like loads of film props, as you know. I've got this sign now, which I absolutely think is amazing. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be going up there somewhere. That's really nice. Yeah, really cool. I like the sign on it as well. So I might, I might have to put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. I wish really there was. Awesome. I wish. I wish there was a way that you could like. I wish there was a way that you could like have your private website with all your listings on, but link to your eBay. So as soon as it sells somewhere, it like auto delists. Like, well, I spoke to um, Darren for me by gum about that, and he said they are in the process of trying to sort something out, like a like a stock checker. Yeah. So if you have got something listed on multiple platforms, that it I, actually, can, I, if, it's, I, if it sells, it cancel off the others. I booked that guy in for our, for our Sunday show. I actually booked him in like the. Two days before he showed up on your show, I was like, Did "Oh, you? he beat me to it!" Damn it! I ah, see. He <laughs> got me quick. You snooze, yeah. you lose. But no, everyone was talking about it, and I, I kind of like read the frequently asked questions on the website, and it was a bit confusing. So I think I didn't do the website justice with what I said about the website. Yeah, uh, but he did kind of explain a lot of the questions I had. But it would be interesting to have like a one-on-one, -on -one, well, two-on-one conversation. Just a good guy. And I, yeah. I, I sort of, I'd. I'd I haven't spoken to him, but I've spoken to Mike about getting this thing done a week or so before, a week yeah. or two before, and uh, I just thought it'd be good to get him on because, like, you know, I, I've registered and I just think if it's free, it's worth giving it a go. But a lot of people are like, oh, no, eBay, there's, you know, it's it, no one knows about it. You've got eBay, but everyone gets fed up with eBay. But the good I know thing we, is... I know we'll revert back to it, but... You know, because they've got that global reach and everything. But like, if there's if there's one, because you know, Darren's like a disgruntled eBayer, so yeah, he's going to yeah. build it. You know, I spoke to him. He texted me yesterday. Said, "Have you got five minutes?" So I spoke to him, and um, I said to him, "You know, all this stupid thing with people on managed payments now, and they can't. They, uh, eBay won't let you sell coins and stuff like that." And he said, "That's ridiculous." Mm. So it's going to be none of that on his. And I said, "There's film props." that I can't list on eBay that so I've got to try and sell them privately or, or on a, on my own page or whatever. And that's all said, to do well, with the big. um that's to do with like the insurance through the payment people on it. They won't let them Yeah. Yeah, but like if it's just purely UK I can't see he, he thinks there's not gonna be a problem. I can yeah. sell all my film props on there. So Well I was thinking like the good thing about eBay Go is we have a chance right now to like mould or help mold or push a new platform in the perfect yeah. direction. Yeah. But the problem with everything, it gets big and then like they stop listening to people. So it'd be interesting to see like in five years, yeah. if it has, if it has got to a good, like sizable level, are yeah. they still listening to us? Are they still taking on our feedback and yeah. working with it? Because if yeah. they just, you know, they get big and then they're like, Oh, we've got 
five people employed to do that now we don't need your advice anymore then it's going to kind of yeah start again I, mean, like I, don't, I don't think it'll ever go that way you're right now just because um and hi anya just because it, i think he's building it around that thing that you know he's he's, he's gonna he is gonna be looking after sellers and that from what he told me he's got a lot of things in the pipeline that are going to help us out but like that, i say you know that's what that's what i've been saying to everybody it's it's free it's not going to cost us anything yeah and yeah. like you know it's like people always miss out on opportunities because they don't get in on the ground level we can get in on the ground level so i'm saying i've put in film props there's no film props whatsoever on there if i start whacking a load of film props on there I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there, aren't I? There's no one else there at the minute, so yeah, yeah. it's just, and he seems to know what he's talking about. You know, the guy's got eight businesses. He's got eight businesses. He he um he moved his camera and showed me, and the the filming backdrop that he had when he was doing the live is inside his massive. He's got this massive recording studio in his house. Yeah, yeah. that he's sat in. You know, sitting there drinking his gin. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, he, and he is a really nice guy to talk to. You know, he seems genuine and that. And I just thought it's good if you get him on a live. Because I know I've seen him on videos and that, but like obviously you get him on a live. He sat there and then you're, you're firing questions at him and see how he see how he copes. And I thought he coped really well. I just think it's worth giving. If something's free, it, it, it's worth giving it a go. Yep. And then Bill's, what, Bill's uh, talking about paying five k for garages from the council. Bill, look. I'm not monetized, right? I'm not doing memberships. I ain't got your money. I ain't got the money you've got, Mr. Mr. Is Mr. that Kanko five? Kanko. Is that five grand for a year or five grand for like? No, I think he's on about buying them from the council. Mr. Moneybags. Probably yeah. leak. You have spiders and uh, oh yeah, rats. But the thing is, I don't want to be renting it anywhere. Really, I've got the space to do it. I, if I get the racking in there. Then I can get everything organised and and uh, it'll be all right. You just got to be richer, man. What's the problem? Come on. Exactly. <laughs> I am's a uh, doing. Yeah, those glasses are doing well, actually. I'm, I'm quite Hi, Gary. With them, so if you need any for your pub, let me know. Well, I was good because there is some nice ones there. Mm -hmm. I, I looked and I thought there is some nice ones there. I might get one or two of each and. So well, if, if you're look, if you're looking to get any of the um, what are they called the those Indian ones, the really nice ones. Yeah, I've only got two left. Like they're gone. Like yeah, yeah. How much are they? Thought, um, hang on one second. I think they're like. Hang on, let me have a look. I forgot what they're called. Hi, Gav. How you doing? Gav's my neighbour. I usually go over his house. He comes over here for a coffee, and we call him at the minute. So. <laughs> we have to talk online. You have to just have a <laughs> coffee over the fence. Is he yeah, your actual ne next door neighbour, or he, he lives literally opposite my house? <laughs> you see that guy that built the, the the fence panel that turns into like a table? Yes, that was so cool. I've seen other ones where yeah, yeah, where they turn like yeah, and it goes between the gardens and they yeah. put things and that on it. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, the, the Bangla beer ones, fifteen pounds for two at the Is moment. It? I've only got one set left or two left though. One set of two left. Yeah. Oh. oh. I don't know. They are nice. I've that got. Is, I, will have, I will have one single one left after that as well. Yeah. That, yeah, gonna you can keep it. that, yeah. But because yeah. the thing is, I went to um when I worked at the as a forklift driver at a transport company, they um. We used to do some work, we just go and pick stuff up from a brewery and take it around to go out on our lorries. And one day I said to him, if you get anything like beer mats or anything, when well, I've got thousands, I've got solid full packs of beer mats and stuff from people. Um, but he um, he said, oh, I've got you a couple of glasses. Well, I think he got me something like 48 glasses and they're really nice as well. Yeah. He said, oh, he said them, your glasses are there. I said, what, the box on top? He went, no, all of them. I was like, sweet. So I got a few glasses for the old pub. But, uh, yeah, the, the best thing to get from a pub is obviously the the pumps themselves are really good, and then like the oh, rubber yeah. mats, the rubber mats that go on the on the actual bar, they do really yeah. well. I'd say in that though, I've got loads of um, the bar towels with different things on them. I've sold a load already. I think I paid fifteen quid for about 
I think there's about 40 odd of them. And um, I've, I've been selling them at fivers and tenors, depending on what they are. And I've still got a bundle of them left. Of the actual beer match with like Thatcher's on and Stella. Um, yeah, I, I wish with. I had. Uh, the ones I really gutted that weren't in there was obviously Stella do really well. Uh, Guinness. Um, yeah. I love Guinness. It's like my favourite alcohol. Oh, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think I've tasted it once, but it was a bit syrupy. Yeah, it's very uh, thick. Like, look, Bill's dropping, his, Bill's dropping his links again in the chat, look. <laughs> Bangler. The Cobra glasses are nice when we go out to the injury oh, That was so loud. What? That video. What, Bill's? Yeah. If was you it? click it, you're going to blast your ears out. Just, yeah. just so you know. Is that his intro one? Yeah. Oh, Bill, he loves to, he loves to drop a link. Just got a check arrived from Royal Mail for an item lost in transit. First time claimed, and it was sorted in check arrived in two weeks. That's not bad. I sent out a bowling pin. I sent out about, I sent one out about three times and the other one out twice. Eventually, it got to um, Kevin Maddox of Tiger Bay Treasures. He's got Tiger Bay Treasures on YouTube, and uh, so he's got it. Thank God. But the other one's still out there somewhere, floating about. So I'll probably have to do a claim for that. I didn't yeah. realise that some banks let you scan your checks now on your phone, like Barclays Bank. Yeah, and you stuff. can. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can do it. You can because they closed. They closed. They closed all my banks around it. Like I have to go all the way into town to get to a bank, and it was so yeah. annoying. And then I went in there and I had a check. They was like, "You do realise you can just scan it on your phone?" And I was like, "What?" Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I've got apparently, go through apparently, apparently yeah. they. Apparently they do have someone that sits there and checks them before they release the money though, but because mm. I was like, can't someone just like fake a check and then just scan it in? And they're like, no. I've got to go food shopping in a bit. I really don't want to go, but I've got to go and sort food out for everybody else before I, before I go to my brother's tomorrow. Just a short life for them. Yeah, well, I keep going when I go out to my brother's. I pop into all the shop and I keep walking past the shops looking. It's like, so sad because. I've, I've just been amazing. to all the shot. Well, I've, I've had just... amazing um, things out of, the, out of the charities there. Yeah. I need to yeah. head over there for charities when they reopen. No, you don't. No, you yeah. don't. You yeah, stay yeah, on your own side of the tracks. Every day I'm going You over stay there. on your own side of the tracks. I'm like, what's up, guys? We're going all the shots yeah. today. Get out. Might, might see Night's Life there. Kicking. You see me there, right? I'll be stood in the door not letting you in. I'll walk in. I'll go, thief, thief. <laughs> I'll Get tell you what, I, I, I got the old a, ladies tackle you down. I got I got a Thunderbirds fiftieth anniversary game from one of them for I think four pound fifty. That went for forty nine ninety five, and I got um, uh, Disney's Villainous as well, and that went for about forty five quid. So and I paid four quid for that. So for eight quid ninety five quid, I've, mm. I've I've only ever had good things out of them shops. I don't think there's many resellers that go over there. And you're well, banned. All the shots, shots a bit um, run down a bit, on it. So. Yeah, and you're banned from there, so. No, I'm not. Well, you are now. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm a walk all the way over there with my trolley. This is Michael. He's KY Picker from America. He's a good guy. You know, i just been over all the shots. I went to um, Booker's. The all right. Yeah, I've got Booker's card. We we went there recently because my, my stepdaughter does beauty therapy, but she because of all the lockdown and that, she can't. Um, her husband could do intros, getting started on the YouTube channel. His mix is on, nice. Yeah, um, yeah. I've, and she went to Booker's and bought a load of sweets and started doing kilo sweets to people, and it flying out. Yeah, I want to get an intro done. I want a um, like a white background, and then like you see like a charity shop like building. And you yeah. see the sloth like crawling and then start flinging <laughs> stuff out. And then as it's flying out, it's just like cha-ching in into coins. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then that'd it comes up good. flipping sloth. Like, that's what I want. Well, that's good. I might do that. I might do a night, a, a night and I'm walking in the charity shop, flinging stuff out and it all turns <laughs> into coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've got to, because that one I just sort of threw together. But I've got my mate that owns a sweet shop. He's, um, he's worked on TV and stuff and he wants to, he said he'll uh, help me film a new intro, but I like, did a bit of stuff at the charity shop and a bit of cinematics and stuff. <laughs> Got to change like, it up. I like your intro. It's got Brian in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll probably keep him in. He's all right. 
I haven't seen him for ages because of the old lockdown. I haven't heard none of, none of his wonderful, wonderful tales of actors. I saw, uh, I can't remember what advert it was that he was in. Was he just his voice? I think so. It might have been an animated one. Oh, he does, he does, um, Flash adverts. He does, um, he does the insur- uh, he used to do that, um, accident advert with, um, Joe Pasquale as well. Yeah. You don't you don't hear his voice anymore, do you, Joe? No. Well, because I thought my brother said, "Oh, I met him and he was really tall." I said, "What do you mean he's really tall? He don't look really tall. He's over six foot. He's about six foot one, six foot two. What, Joe Pasquale? I thought he was yeah. tiny. No, I thought that he's six foot two. Imagine being six foot tall and sounded like that. I know. Yeah, I don't, it, he said he don't sound like that in real life. So it must is that be not? Awesome. It's no. not as not as real voice. I don't think so. I, I suppose so. that's one way to get in the door. You sound different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'd never have known that wasn't his voice, to be honest. I just... No. Ah. Mike Dando's in. Right, Mike? Yeah. No, so, I'd say every time I go into all the shot, I just look in the charities and just think, what a shame. All that good stuff going to waste. I want to go window shopping, but I feel like people wouldn't like that if because i made a window shopping video last time yeah no just went out filmed the, the, windows. the windows yeah just filmed the windows but the first time it was different because they had to like get stuff ready for reopening the first time but they had to like reorganize so it was quite interesting to um um to see like the, how they were doing their aisles and stuff yeah hampshire's my patch now nah. Oh, the shot. Sorry, is it? No, it's Farnborough. Uh, Farnborough. Oh, Farnborough back, shots. yeah. Is, is all the shot in the Surrey? Or is it? I don't know. Yeah. I know Farnborough. Yeah, it's, a G, uh, yeah, it's GU11. It's GU11, so it's Guildford. Um, it's a Guildford postcode. You're going to have fun sending the glasses. What are you doing? Double boxes. What I'm doing <laughs> is I'm stuffing the glasses with void fill so that the vibrations don't smash the glass from inside. And then I'm triple wrapping with bubble wrap, so a sheet rolling three times, tape. And then I'm doing a card wrap, and then I'll stick the card wraps together. So, like, if there's two or four, they'll go in a bundle and then into a box that has void fill. Oh. Like, I've wrapped a couple of fours, and I could kick kick them downstairs. They wouldn't crack. It's good, isn't it? It's good you'll be only lost one glass as well. Yeah, and it was the Bangalore ones, which is a nice foot. They are like the, the Indian glasses are thinner, I think. So, yeah. mm. but one yeah. out of six hundred and ninety-seven is pretty good going. That's a, that was that was a good buy, really. Cause pub pub people like you know people always like that sort of pub stuff. I had yeah. a guy near me, and he was selling off. It. I think he was shutting a pub that he was in, and he had hundreds of like different sorts of glasses. I mean, you don't really get. The half pint glass is so much now. You've got some nice little half pint yeah. glass in there. But all that pub paraphernalia and even all the smoking paraphernalia, like cigar cutters and things like that, they all go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just glad it was like 22, 23 variations rather than like 100 variations of like two or three glasses because that would have been much more annoying to list. But... And then people are just... Put it. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw someone in Little Hampton Town and like you could see this bag outside this charity shop and this bloke, he was just like, you know, like when it's really on top and suspicious and he kept walking past it, looking down and then going. Well, that's the thing, like you're not allowed to dump outside a charity shop, so you are allowed to take it, but it's like you yeah. don't want to pick it up and then it's trash. Like you want to have yeah, a little yeah, look. Yeah, like... sort of like uh, uh, looking down and yeah. what was going on? <laughs> mm. But no, because the charity shops get um, they get fined if stuff's left outside, they get fines. Mm. So, um, crazy. All the shop is a town in the Rushmore district of Hampshire. Mm. Didn't know that. I'm so tempted to buy this sign on her website. I'll tell you what, she's got some wicked ones. She's got two Spitfire ones on there. My boy's mad on World War Two. And he's yeah. got this, he's got this remote control plane that I bought him for Christmas. Me and the wife got him, and it's only polystyrene, but it's like a uh, Fu4 Corsair or something. I don't know about it, but 
first time he flew it, it was like he'd been flying for years. I couldn't even really? keep it off the ground. And yet <laughs> drone flying, I can I can fly my drone like a 1,500 quid drone, but I can't fly a blooming 80 quid plane. When um when Blackbush Market was open back in the day when I used to oh, work I love there, Blackbush. yeah, I spent it was like thirty pound on a helicopter. So I went over the um the runway, the old runway after I finished work with it. Mm. Um there was like a tiny bit of charge on it, so I got it up, it's like up in the air, straight back down, smashed into like <laughs> fifty pieces. I was like, No. I had one years ago, I bought a, I think it was something like Kyo Show sixty. It was, the, it was the top one. It was about four foot long, this helicopter. I built it, spent ages building it, and I was getting lessons to fly it. And I've done a couple of lessons, and I've decided there's no way I was ever going to fly it on my own. So I, I paid about, I think it cost me about 1,500 quid in the 90s. Jesus. I think, yeah, it must have been. In the early 90s, it must have cost me 1,500 quid. And I think I ended up selling it for something stupid, like 350 but it's so hard to fly these big, like, petrol ones with all the yeah. stunt stuff and reversing uh, controls and that. It's just nuts. Yeah, I'm still glad that they didn't do the uh, the air show last year. I love watching that. And you're saying, talking about myself, talking about yourself there, are you looking shifty? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't go I don't go mooching out about around the uh, outside of charity shops. I want to go in the charity shops. If someone I, left some good stuff outside a charity shop now when they're all closed, I'll take it. I don't care. Probably would if it was late at night. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of stuff that was so good and this woman was pulling out bags of clothes everywhere in the rain. So you just, if you're going to do that, obviously it's classed as dumping, so you're not going to get in trouble. And if you're going to do that, you just pick it all up and take it and then just deal with it. And it's like, I don't know. I, I I say, I, I see this bloke and he was just, I don't know what he was playing at, but he kept walking past. It was only like a little bag. There's probably nothing decent in there. Uh, oh, chair shots with the stuff outside door. See, what I should have done was the, the manager of the one where I am in Little Hampton, I should have spoke to him and said, look, if ever you're in sorting stuff out, if I come in and help you sort stuff out, and I have a little mooch while I'm there. That's what I should have done. That's what I'm going to do in future. I don't know how. I, start, how, I did I start volunteering at the other one. I, yeah, I was going to say I don't know how productive volunteering would be. Like, well, she all... said I can have a rummage through, and like when, yeah. when they charged me a tenner for those shoes, I bought them with a pair of um, Dr. Martin work industrial work boots, and I paid seventeen quid for the two. And then the woman went, "Oh, sorry, I've rung it through, and I should have knocked some money off for you." So I was getting money knocked off of stuff. I used to buy loads of D. I think I. I picked up about 12 quid's worth of DVDs and games and that before, and she went, I'll just call it a fiver. So, I hate dealing with DVDs. That's like the one thing I won't touch anymore, unless yeah, it's like I, a... Yeah, but I always scan them while I'm there, because like, if you get like one, say, Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance sealed, it's worth five or six quid. If you're paying 25 pence, mm. it's worth getting. I just say, when I go and pick up three bundles of DVDs, I'll go through them and it, you'll always get one or two gems in there. If you dump the rest, it don't matter. But the thing is, because I like having that physical DVD media and Blu-rays, I'm just going to have my nice little collection. I've got a collection of bloody hundreds of them. It's not stealing if you pick up someone's fly tip outside the charity shop. I think your cops are just don't know what they're doing. Who's that? Oh, M's. If the charity shop's open, then maybe. Yeah, that's different. But if it's left there and the shop's shut, it's nobody's property, is it? Once you put it down and walk away from it, I don't suppose it's anyone's. I don't know. Great, when you get to know people in charity shops. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I know the ones in the one that I started volunteering in, but then I was I had to go and spend more time at my brother, so I couldn't. I just didn't have the time when he was going through radiotherapy and all that. I, just didn't have time to um, to do it to volunteer. But I still go in there. They still talk to me and say like, if there's anything, if you see anything you want. I think I bought three or four, three West Ham scarves in there for a pound each and some other bits. I got a load of Man United scarves. I thought they were going to do well because it's winter, but none of them are gone. Or maybe I need to drop the price. They're vintage ones though, so I stuck them up for a tenner. I don't know if that's stupid pricing or not. But. 
I wouldn't have thought so for a football. I mean, I don't like football, but like for a football fan, I would have thought they'd pay good money for vintage football stuff. Yeah, they're like nineties, so and early two thousands, you know. So I don't know. Mm. I thought they'd do well, bad. but can't be bad. Have you had any videos? You've been done doing recording any videos and that? I've got so many videos to edit. Obviously, I did the the glass one. Yeah, I have um have the car boot video. I need to re-edit. I'm just doing like a best of twenty twenty car boot yeah. video. Um, so that'll be good. And then I've yeah, got like Gina's, a, Gina's been putting her car boot videos back out, and that, and yeah, charity shops. And then uh, I have like a sales video from like three weeks ago that I just never got round to doing. So I'll mm. put that one out, and then I'll start filming my sales again because, to be honest, I was just working so hard on like rebuilding, relisting, carry on listing, that kind of stuff. Mm. That's the wife. I'm just going to mute and uh, you, you can hold fault. Okie dokie. My stream now, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe to me. <laughs> I'm joking. How's everyone doing? I'm just browsing through Bay Crazy to see if there's any good deals in the area. Because I do like to uh, look on Bay Crazy because you can find some good stuff on there. See anyone talking in the chat? How many people are watching? How do I see that? Oh, I closed YouTube by accident. Oops. Yo, what's up, Tap Peddler? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Rich is just on a phone call right now, but he'll be back in a minute. So I've taken over. This is now my channel. So, yep. I am the new owner. I would take all the ad revenue, but he doesn't have ads yet. So, that sucks. Hmm. Anyone found anything good on uh, on Facebook recently? Oh, there is a CRT screen, Panasonic, for one pound in crow form. Ends in one day. I will bid on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. One pound Panasonic CRT TV. Was it 15, 14 inch? With the remote. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, please. See, this is why I love Bay Crazy. Wouldn't have found that otherwise. New intro looks good. Yeah, I liked his intro. It just it blasted my ears off when I clicked the video. Uh, I've used Bay Crazy loads lately. Uh, got loads of bargains as it's collection only. Yeah, that's why it's so good because obviously it's your local eBay auctions that are collection only, so they hardly get any bids. But the website just like puts them all in a list for you, so you can scroll through them every day. Can I come onto your channel, onto your live? Am are, I allowed you ask, to... are you asking permission to come back I'm to my live stream? Permission. permission to come aboard, sir. Should we let him back onto my live stream chat? <laughs> yeah, you can come back. Thank just, you. Just no disruptions like that. <laughs> that council meeting. Did you watch that video of the council meeting? No. How'd you get so on? Funny. Don't be talking to strange men. No, he wasn't strange. He was well. nice. He, he, first he complimented my fine. Then he told me he has a diesel Spitfire and he showed me a picture and he does. Oh, nice. Yeah, and he has a diesel Hellcat and all that. That's mm -hmm. when he invites you back to the shed to look at him. Yeah. <sighs> He's just been down flying his plane again. It, you do get, like, like when I go take the drone down here, you get loads of people come over to talk to you. Because they're all down, like walking down the beach. <sighs> I just found a um, an auction on Bay Crazy for a 14 inch CRT Panasonic uh, monitor. Oh, I've got well, five of them. Listen, if, if you want a CRT, I'll give you a CRT. Well, it's it's up for a pound. It's got a day left, so I bid on it. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, someone I'll, asked I'll where I'm. I went for free the other day. Yeah, I'm in Surrey. So. I'm on the Surrey Hampshire border, so I can walk into Hampshire in like three minutes. So. 
trace that line on a map and you'll probably find me. <laughs> uh, which ones did you get then? Were they Sony or Samsung? Or um, a different ones. Um, because she said, "Oh, could, uh, I said, have you still got them?" She said, "How many do you want?" I said, "All of them." You should list them. They're like fifty quid each. Right? Yeah. So well, yeah, but there's one that's got no buttons on the. It's got the little button cover missing off the front of it. Um, one's one's got the little flap that covers the buttons off the front of it. And then one's got a, she said, one's got a DVD player in it. It's not, it's a VHS player in it. But I turned it on, it powered on when I was at the unit, I plugged it in. But it said something about control panel locked or something. So I don't know if you need to get a remote control to unlock that. But I'm sure there's I'm, a YouTube I'm, video explaining I'm it somewhere. Also, I mean, I've got probably 10 or 12 CRT TVs at the minute. See, this is your problem. You, you're, you're a hoarder. But I've come to the no, conclusion. I've, no, I've sold a few CRTs as well. I sold yeah, one last week. I don't know. Half your stuff's not listed. Well, so if someone said to you, "There's five free CRT TVs," you wouldn't go and get them. I would, but then I'd list them. That's the difference. Yeah, I'm going to list them when I get time. When's that? Well, as soon two as years later. Chat, chat. Two years later, he'll be talking about these. As soon CRTs. as I get time, I will get time. It's just I've got so much to do at the minute. He's a hoarder disguised I'm not, I'm not. as a reseller. <laughs> Ask his wife, she'll tell you all about it. Oh, she'll tell you. She'll tell it to you I'm a hoarder. Definitely. I haven't used Bay Crazy, but I do like looking on there for some bargains. Hoarder hiding in plain sight. Oh, look, there's me, there's me mate's son now on there. Daniel, with his belly on. When you don't remember half the stuff you own, I think that's when you're classed as a hoarder. Oh, I well, know everything I've got. Just can't tell you where it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. What? What? What are you trying to say? I go down and check. Oh God! Don't wreck nothing yeah, down be, there because yeah. it's all my bargains down there. Uh, I'll sell everything. No. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's all right. It comes in. He tries. Yeah, goes. Yeah. Can't go down this way. It could be Xbox. He's gaming. He's been out of the house. Now he wants to go. And now he wants to go and mooch and fester. Oh, he's done some exercise. He's allowed a game now, hasn't he? What's yeah, he he's been, out, he's been out three times a day. He keeps going that way. He keeps walking down to the beach because it's literally a two-minute walk from our house. He keeps walking down there, coming back, charging his battery up on his plane again and going back down and flying it again. He's doing some drug drop-offs from his plane, isn't he? That's what he's doing. Flying over he's his like, mate's house. Like, he's, no, he's flying over Ford Prison. He's dropping some weed parcels he's off. Doing the drops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear family and kids take up a lot of time yes they do Queenie well, and it, you know I mean it was it's not so bad now because when I was taking to his first chemo and radiotherapy I was up in Surrey for four days a week and down here for three so like you know I've got loads of work in the house that I've got to get done but where I was ill for three weeks and then I've had to try and catch up over that and then listed a bundle of stuff last week, and that sold, or the week before, and that sold last week, and I've been trying to catch up on the parcels. Just been crazy. Absolutely nuts. And I've got to go back up there tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. I've got to do things like partition the horse fields off and start boxing stuff up and labelling stuff, and it's just, it's just a big hassle. Nick is in the chat. The hey. rich man has arrived. <laughs> ah, hi, Nick. I can't believe people thought that he had 125 grand in his paper account. Like, I don't keep a penny. Well, I keep like 20 quid in there. That's about as much as I trust him with. Yeah. It's a bit bonkers. Nick, I'll stick the link in. And if you want to come in, you can. I don't feel you have to, because I'm, you know. It's up to you. But yeah, there's um yeah, so I'll be up there. Shame that's what I was saying, you can't meet up and have a coffee or nothing nowadays, it's just nuts, isn't it? You know, I just like coming up, going to charity shops, grab a grab a Greg's, Greg's and a coffee, mooch about. I'll imagine if there. imagine if PayPal can like put a minus hundred and twenty K on your account, like if it went the other way and they put plus one twenty five. Yeah. And everyone like withdrew that money. Hmm. Could you imagine you log into your paper, Nuts, you've got a hundred grand. Like what happens? Like <laughs> I presume like you like 
if they ask for it back, you have to give it back, obviously. But yeah, be nuts. Yeah, Nick, I got this from Kirsten Shop. Because I like the saying on it, life has no limitations except the ones you make. I just thought it was a really nice design. I like that. Oh, here he is. Why, hello. Hello, Nick. Hello. Can I borrow, can I borrow oh. a fiver? <laughs> yeah, can I, yeah, can I borrow five grand? Yeah, that's what I got from Kirsten's. Yeah, that's awesome. I've seen some life of the has, time she's got such a big range. Life has no limitations except the ones you make. I just thought the saying on it was brilliant, and I like the design. Yeah, that reminds me of like the Iron Maiden sort of artwork. Yeah, you no know, Eddie. Yeah. And that. yeah. So yeah, that was what I bought. Yeah, I, saw it, my, I just had to have it. I've got my iron a couple for gifts for this Christmas <laughs> for people. I think of Kirsten's signs. Yeah, my son likes uh, World War Two, and like he's got his remote control plane now. So there's two nice Spitfire ones on there that I, I've uh, I've seen. So yeah, I might have to start putting a few bits away. Yeah, she's got some really nice stuff on there. Mm. Oh, she absolutely. came quick, she packed it well. She even stuck little plastic corners on it and all that. So yeah, she awesome. really really done an amazing job of it. Hello, of we've, we've not met, have we? No, not yet. Joe, this is Jay Flipping Sloth. Hello, mate. We've done we've done a few car boot sales and uh, uh, charity shops together, bit videos. Yeah, okay, mate cool. Jay for a while. So yeah, how's your, how's your, you, you must you must earn a bit of interest on your hundred and twenty five grand then since yesterday. <laughs> bit of interest must be building nicely. Yeah, the tax no, man's door. It was never there to be taken, and then it was just showing up as apparently I'd spent that much or somebody had spent it. That's crazy. It, it happened to so many people. Um, yeah, right. And it's quite disturbing when you see that as a negative on your account. I know yeah. Joe had 2.2 million. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 2.2 million or something he had on his, yeah. So. I mean, I was... laugh now, but I mean, Edward was really worried. He had 600 grand gone out of his account. That was never there to start with. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mad. That's crazy, isn't it? Was yeah. it just a typographical error on their end or a decimal I, I, place? I think it was just the kind of little update boxes that show you an, an overview of income and outgoings. The, the system that was running that was, was messed up somehow. Okay. And so I think they've taken it all down because mine's not even showing anymore. So I no, think no, they're mine the system out because while they fix it. Because I thought, <laughs> I thought maybe it was like... An, it's added up like all of your outgoings since you started your account, maybe and it's, like showing all of it. But maybe. even that could get you in trouble, couldn't it? Like you know, if if some people start seeing you've had six hundred grand go through your PayPal account or something, you know, it's it's just absolutely bonkers. Yeah, absolutely nuts. It worries me because I've got if I have a few hundred quid in there, I start worrying and I have to take it out. I don't like leaving money in there. Yeah, well, we don't leave money in there. It was funny people's responses to that saying, oh, you're oh. just sure enough because you've got that much money. I'm like, yeah, right, I wish. <laughs> yeah, someone joined Someone joined uh, the Discord yesterday and they said, oh, Nick's put a video up. Someone's taken 120 grand out of his PayPal account. I said, I highly doubt he's got 125 grand in it. And if he does, then he's an idiot. Well, and I said, you wouldn't, sound you wouldn't like be showing Nick. it, would you? I was like, you it doesn't sound showing. like Nick to have that yeah. much in a PayPal account. I, think, I don't, People just didn't understand that you can use PayPal at, at, like it's a credit. Well, you use your credit yeah. card through PayPal. That's how it works. Have you, you got? Have you got? Have you got a PayPal card connected to your account? I've got a PayPal debit card. I don't have the PayPal one, but we do have cards set up. That yeah, we I've, got pay, I've got a PayPal one, so like I can just literally go to the shop and spend it, and it comes straight from the PayPal account rather than having another card connected to it. It's literally a PayPal card. I see what you get on there. Yeah, PayPal card. Really Sorry. And you get cash back on it. I've done a I tried, 1600 pound transaction on it once, and I've got a nice little cash back off of that. I tried to get their uh, PayPal finance, but they don't let you get it if you're a business PayPal. So, mm. yeah, it's kind of annoying. But... Mine's a business PayPal. Really? Yeah. When I had my private account, they let me sign up for it, and then as soon as I switched to business, they closed it. They're like, you can't have it. I don't know. Have you ever had um, one of them, um, was it Cash Advance from them? No. PayPal Cash Advance. I've had a few of them. They really help out. They don't charge a fortune to, to take them out. Yeah, I remember Zaheer used to talk about that a fair bit. He used that to get, get 
cash, you know. To it is it. handy. Yeah, it is handy when you need a bit of cash. But yeah, it's really good. And then they just take. You can choose to pay either back ten percent, fifteen, or twenty percent of each transaction. So I really don't even notice it getting paid off, which is good. Mm. Uh, what's, what's Derek saying? Are you on managed payments yet, Nick, or are you still on PayPal? Yeah. Yeah, not a great deal of money goes through PayPal now. Anyway, you know, yeah, uh, people tend to use other other ways of paying now. I prefer managed payments over PayPal. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think it just cuts out a lot of the hassle of dealing with two separated companies. Then, you know. no, Mum, I haven't been shopping yet. <laughs> Your Mum asked me if I've been shopping yet. Was that your mum? Hey, yeah. mum. She got to put a shopping list in chat. For it was you. really weird. I, was, I, I nearly died of shock the first time I saw her come into a reseller chat. I was like, "What the hell's going on there?" She loves it now. Everyone knows knows her now. Yeah, I find it weird if, if, if if family watch mine, I find it quite weird. It yeah. is, yeah. I keep getting my boy popping in, and then his mate across the road, and my mate. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, my mum will leave the odd comment. And then she followed me on Instagram as well, which is really weird because then you get like oh, a, a like on Instagram. You're like, oh, cheers, mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. What, are you, are you busy today, Nick, listing? Or? Um, I've got some drafts I want to get pictures done for. Um, so I'm going to get those finished off, I think. I'm just actually boxing up to look, two lots of shoes. I've oh, sold nice. two calls of 10, which was nice to get them out in bulk. Mm. Um, so I'm just picking the sizes they want. So I do a deal where you can buy a box of ten for a discounted price, and you can select the um, sizes. So I've just got all of those done. It's got to get them away. They've done all right, the shoes, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I, I reckon we're about halfway through the whole lot now. Wow. Um, okay, well, I've sold a van load to someone, basically, like a or a transit van size load of 160 odd pairs. So when that goes, we'll definitely be at least halfway. Cool. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? And the cubes have done well. Yeah, cubes are flying out at the minute. Uh, we've nearly sold out of another line of those. Really? But yeah. Still done good. well. You've done well. I can't complain. I've, I've got to get up and go through that, through all that vinyl and stuff. I just still haven't been back up there. But there's a load of like 80 stuff up there. And there's one stack I've left. I haven't gone through that because I couldn't reach it. But that'll be. A, I'll do that another time. I Isn't tend to fun. find there's like there's like this weird way that when you buy a pallet or something, it's like when you first see it, you're like, oh, that's a really good deal. You work it all out. You get all the sums. You're like, okay, that's is going to work. You order it. And then as soon as it arrives, you start doubting yourself. You're like, oh, God, what have I done here? <laughs> you get it all in. And then you, you finally get it all listed. And then like you start, oh, okay, it's starting to sell. Okay. My calculations originally were okay. They're good. But like, there's that there's that little like time frame where you're like, oh no, what have I done? This is really bad. Definitely, I think you, you wouldn't be human if it didn't scare you buying big yeah. big bundles. I think there's nothing wrong with you if it it should scare you, you know. Yeah. And not being really funny, it's, it's different, isn't it? When you when you see it on the screen and you're ordering it on the screen and then it yeah. turns up on a whacking big pallet. Oh, for yeah. sure. Well, I've said many times with with the shoes, I totally underestimated the volume, as in mm. storage volume. <laughs> totally yeah. um, because we work completely from home now I don't have any off-site storage anymore so it all yeah. comes through the front door and it was just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous yeah wow. I was you just saying I've just put the notice in on my storage so I've got to try in the next two weeks to get my thing down the garden sorted and racked and because I think everything will fit in there. Once I've got it all racked, it'll all fit in nice put it in neat and tidy but <coughs> so that's the next step for me it wasn't long ago you put your notice in before and then you ended up back in there again. Yeah, because you know why? Because I'd, I'd got two months at half price and then I thought, oh, I can't, I'm not keeping it on. Then I got back out and then I think it was within a week or so because I bought it all home and the wife was moaning about it all being just stacked at home and I couldn't get in the I shed remember. and it was like up to the doors. So I thought, oh, it's not worth it. I'm going to go and get another one. So I got another one at two, two months at half price. I've now paid a month at full price as well, and it's just I'm just thinking with everything going on, and I need to be up helping my brother doing this. I just need really, I don't need to be laying out for stuff like that. So, and I've got the storage down there; it's probably filled with after crap that I've had probably for 20 years. It can just get slung in a bin because I've never ever looked at it in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, 
got a lot of work yeah. to do. She keeps nagging yeah. me about doing jobs at home as well. So, <laughs> I still <laughs> got. To, I still got to put that um, Harry Potter broom on the wall somehow. It's just really awkward to like get up. Because of shape of it, isn't it? It's an odd shape. Like I'm gonna have to find like a bracket or something. You can get the brackets that you put for uh, putting bikes on the walls and stuff like that. Yeah, I wanted to have it like go like up the wall <laughs> as you go up the stairs, kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah, I was thinking like the bristles by like going my eye or something. <laughs> like as I'm walking up. Like, <laughs> yeah, you don't want broom, that. Like, well, I'm, gonna, eye, yeah. I'm gonna crack on and get these uh, dropped off. So I just got right, to say hi. Thank you, yeah. mate. Look after yourself. Bye. And uh, you okay. don't spend Thank all you. that money. <laughs> 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 oh dear, that was nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's I think good. I'm ordering one of these signs. I'm t I'm so tempted. Just do it. Support the small business. Yeah, I'm seeing if there's anything else because uh... she's got so many, isn't she? She's got absolute bundle of them. Oh, Mark had a question for Nick then. I have a lot of board game spares and want to do a listing where people can pick the part they want, but don't know how to set a list. Well, do you know about that anyway, Jay? Don't you sell what, game? What was, what was the you question? sell game board spares. What was the question? Uh, he had uh, Mark's got a lot of game board uh, board game spares and wants to do a listing where people can pick the part they want, but don't oh. doesn't know how to set it up. So like a multi listing, yeah. Yeah. With different yeah, so, parts on. So what what you do is you just start a normal listing on eBay. I, it depends on what category it ends up in because some some categories don't give you the option for the the multi variant thing. Uh, but just start a listing, just like say it's like Lego or whatever or board game or something, whichever one. And then just under like the title area, there will be a box that says create variant. And then in there you can like add all the variants. So you can add like dice or coin or whatever it happens to be and then you can put individual photos to all of them and then you could do individual prices and then when someone goes on there uh there'll be like a little drop down box so you can put like in the title scrabble uh multi-listing like pieces spares or something and then when they go on they can pick whichever ones and then i think if they pick multiple it goes to their basket and then you can like give them like a you can have like three pound for one item for postage yeah. and then like everything else can be like free or you can have like 20p extra per item or something yeah um and you can also have discount like right at the bottom of the page where the promotion section is you can have like five percent discount if they buy two items ten percent that you can change it also yeah i bought um i bought a load of bits out there i bought a couple of bits off one person and a couple of bits off another and got like a fifteen percent multi buy discount and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Multi multi listings are good uh, if you have loads. You don't want to do like twenty different listings, like stuff like that. Like, what did I do recently? I had um, oh, I got a load of uh, Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance games in. So I just took one picture of all of them, like as the cover photo for the listing, yeah. and then I just listed them all on there, so someone could go in and pick like three out and then there's a discount if they buy like two or more and then they don't have to pay shipping on every single one you know so that's good yeah, yeah I, I think i've got like games with uh, missing bits and that so i keep thinking about selling the spares because you sell the, everything kind of just strip it down sell the board sell the pieces sell the dice yeah, yeah. so yeah it's quite good i've got a load of old board games and stuff still I've got to shift but um I need to get that sorted down there, because once I get everything down there, like my laptop, I can keep my keep my microphone set up and so I want to set up a nice backdrop or I want to have all my LEDs about and all my you gadgets nice, and gizmos. You had a uh, nice backdrop at one point. What happened to that one? You just sold it all? Or? What one was that? I don't know. You had all the stuff behind. Oh, when I had all the stuff piled up. It's yeah, still, yeah. most of it's still piled up down there. It's just I don't get, I don't get down there because... I've moved some stuff now to the to the unit, like a load of music CDs and and stuff like that. But then James from JR Reselling kept buying CDs, so it was just a nightmare to keep going through looking for CDs. I, I remember that I, he was looking for one. Years. Yeah, it was just it was just a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Jay. A real font of knowledge. Don't say things like that to him. You're making big headed. <laughs> Don't start him off. 
So when are you getting um Hi John Luke, how you doing mate? Um so when are you and Joe having this thing with Darren then? Uh not this Sunday, because this Sunday we have a guest and then it will so be next Sunday. Mm. So there will there will be like a week or two between your one, but mm. um yeah, I just had a few questions I wanted to ask and then um we already had him booked in, but yeah, well, uh, It'll be good because there'll be different questions and cause... yeah, of course. I mean, I had I had all the plans to get all my work done, then sit down with a pad and write out all these questions. And like I like I was saying, you know, it's exactly the same as um, the same situation as uh, I went round to Brian's one day and we were sat there and he said he turned around to me and my brother he went, look, my brother went and made the tea actually, and he said to me, right, he said in four hours I've got to be up in London doing a speech in front of Stephen Hawking. Brian Cox and all the top scientists in the world, he said, "What, what, what, what would you say?" So, what would I don't know what I'd say. I'd probably say, "Oh shit," or something like that. I, I, I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know anything about it. I said, "That you're going to be no help, yeah." I would ask Stephen Hawkins if he could change his accent. Whether it was only one that you could oh, use. Poor old Stephen Hawking. Now poor old Sir Tom. Yeah. Shame, isn't it? Yeah, the bloke died the other day that um, that wrote Midnight Train to Georgia. He's died the other day. Yeah. It's a crazy world out there. Crazy, yeah. crazy world out there. <laughs> Happens to everyone at some point, though. Yeah, eventually. How's you? What's your recent... What's your recent video? Great sales. Whose is that? Whose video, Ems? Is that Jay's? I got, I got the chat on the other screen, so... Uh, hi, Jim. Marlowe's Independent Trading. Did you want to pop on, John Luke? I can put the link in if you want to pop in. Not going to be on for long. The wife will be back soon. She'll be beating me up because I haven't been shopping. I'd like Brian Cox as well. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Good. Right, I found one sign so far. Cool. So that one just caught my eye, and I just, I just thought that's it. Buying it, buying it. So she's packed it up well. She met. She actually she mentioned it in her video that she was packing it up and that. Brian is never short of words. Tell me about it. I, but I love going around there because my. We have a cup of coffee with him. We sit there, and he just comes out of all these stories. Like when he, uh, I don't know, when he went to and won an award over Kevin Costner, for, and what he was, what Brian was doing wasn't even acting. It was like a documentary thing, and I think it was it was against Kevin Costner for um, what was it he done? Dancing with Wolves, Dances with Wolves, some, one of them. And I, you know, he's, he just. It just makes me laugh with the things he comes out with, like Christopher Lee was a shit actor and things like that. It just makes me laugh. It just makes me chuckle. He has some amazing stories. How many listings do you have at the moment? Me? Right. Probably less than 200, I would think. I think I've got back over 800. Did you? Yeah, I'm just about to hit 900 somehow. Nice. Don't ask me how. I don't know how that happened. That's good well, though. I have 48 out of stock, so that puts it back down oh, to like 850. So. Yeah, there you go. Look, 199. Oof. Better get one listed now then. Yeah. I'll have to relist something. It'll be up to about 300, hopefully, by the end of the weekend. Yeah, by the time the first the first lockdown, I started at like seven fifty. That's how many I had on. By the end of the first lockdown, like I, I was down to like two fifty. Like I told like five hundred plus whatever I sourced during lo lo the first lockdown. So yeah, and then I had to build it all back up again. Yes, Jim's in. Uh... My wife is a lawyer and dealing with his will. She's been around the house a few times. Says full of amazing stuff. Who are you talking about, Jim? Oh, Stephen Hawking. 
nice. God, could you imagine the stuff that someone like Hawking where had? Did he, like, where did he live in? I thought he lived in America. No, it was like somewhere in the countryside, wasn't it? Where was it? I think so. Did you ever watch that movie about him? What his wife? Yeah, I'll tell you what, he was, he was brilliant. The guy that played him, I can't remember his name is now, but he's, he's a really good actor. Really good, yeah. Yeah. That was a great movie, actually. Kirsten, I absolutely love it. And while while I've showed Jay, and now Jay's looking at your website and he wants to buy one. Yeah, I've got one in the basket. I'm scrolling through to find... That's going straight in Jay's basket. I love this one. That's so cool. Is the um is the a question about the is the postage done on like weight like can I get two things for one postage or is it like individual or what's that work? Who's that for, Kirsten? Yeah. Run an Oscar, probably. Hey, I'm just trying to do it for you, mate. I'm trying to find out how to, uh, to put my link in. You know the other movie I really like was the um that oh, one of. Nick Nick's asking what sign are you ordering? Me? Yeah, Nick. I have... Nick Hills is asking. Is he going to snipe it? He's going to nick it if I do that. <laughs> I swear, if I go to check out and it says Nick Hills snagged it, I'm going to be... Uh, he's, he's the, to... the one is the I'm already disturbed skull. The please come in one. I'm if already someone... disturbed. Yeah. It's like a skull and it says, please come in. At the nice. Bottom. So there's some really good. I'm going to buy some more. I'm, I'm, ba I'm paying for this now. Someone's going to pay. I'm not I think it. he did. I think he did win an Oscar for it. I think he did not, win an Oscar. He was amazing, the guy that played. Uh, Eddie Redmayne. I ain't having like someone that. nick me sign. <laughs> <laughs> His house is... Oh. Stephen Hawking's house is full of stuff from Simpsons, Big Bang Theory, and the film he got from the shows. Nice. Was he alive when that movie came out? I don't think he was. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he was. Just in the process of ordering more. Don't do that. It's, you're gonna, it, I'll just end up buying loads of them. I'm going to cry. Kirsten saying £4.50 combined po postage combined. Okay, cool. Well, well, I know my boy is going to like two of them, so I'll, I'll, I'll have to get them and put them away. Let me just check. My He's head. mad on World War Two, Kirsten, so like Spitfires, the Spitfire ones are really nice. I love that. Oh, it's PayPal. Oh, God. Um, okay. Do I have money in my PayPal? I did that thing on, on eBay where I like secured it. I secured my eBay, right? So that every time I go to log in, I have to get a code through on my phone. It's so annoying. Oh, God, no, I couldn't deal with that. Oh, it's like a lot less annoying than if someone hacks into your account, obviously. But the thing is, like, once you're logged into eBay, you're not actually logged into eBay because whenever you go to do something, it asks you to log in again like three times. Yeah. So whenever I go to do like, a listing or if i go to check like my orders or if i go to do a postage like it's always like sending me text messages it's, it's kind of annoying right i ordered it nice ka-ching ka -ching. did you get one or two i just got one i would have got two but i got rushed i didn't want to lose out <laughs> yeah. Well, I say I would have got to. I didn't see anything else more at the time. So. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Anyway, lads, going back to the rugby and a beer. Oh, nice. See you, Jay. Love your work too. Looking forward to seeing you back at the boot soon. That would be nice. We got. To, we got to like go, when it reopens. We got to go everywhere, man. Oh, God, yeah, 100%. Up, up and down the country. Yeah, road trip. Road trip, see some other, get some other, go to some other resellers, locals, meet up yeah. with them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
got it. Thank you. Kirsten's got the order. Yeah. But Nick got in there first. If, uh, if, Nick Hill, if Nick Hills doesn't pay, then, then you can have it. <laughs> I make an exposed video on Nick for Steve on my side. <laughs> oh, dear. No, it's all good, though. What are you up to this afternoon, then? Uh, i probably do a few listings. I'm try I was doing five listings a day, but I found that doing 10 really boosts sales a lot more than just five. Hmm. Because obviously I had a lot of stock photographed. I didn't want to run out before lockdown, but I've been able to source a lot anyway, so I'm not worried about that anymore. So I upped it from five to ten, and since I've done that, like the sales have been crazy. But one other thing I did, I come, I come up with this, you know, like the algorithm and everything. You come up with yeah. these stupid theories that like stuff's yeah. gonna work. I um I listed an auction because I had um I had some. Uh, action men stuff come in so i listed an uh, auction and like as soon as i had an auction like on the account active my sales seemed to go up like quite a lot so my theory is that if you have like active auctions like when someone finds your auction it starts recommending them your other listings as well after that really i think so i could be just chatting out of my ass probably but you know you get those weird correlations and you just go with them don't you so yeah I have some active uh, auctions, and since I've done that, my sales have gone up a hundred percent. So that's all right. I say it does. You know, when people talk about the algorithm, it does work. You know, if you list, if you list stuff, yeah, it's it's gonna uh, it's gonna you know you have to list stuff to be able to sell stuff. That's it. Yeah. Um, I do want to hit the thousand listings at some point this year, though, but we'll see. Mm. I'm trying to move away from like the lower end items as well. Not like fully because they pay the bills sometimes, but like I want to try and yeah. up my average sale price because right now it's like between 15 and 20 pounds, which is, you know, not amazing. But I'd like to get it to like 25, 30 average because then obviously some higher ones and some lower ones and the average is 30. That's pretty good. Yeah. But Pete in the chat, Pete, if you go on, if you go on and look for, Be dogs. if you go on my eBay and look for, I'm going to kill him. If you go on my, uh, if you go on eBay and look for better with age, it should bring the site up. I don't know how to get it all on and go into it while I'm on StreamYard. So if you have a look on there, What's and that? if you still What's get that? stuck, send me a message. And Is that I'll, your uh, website? Huh? Is that your website, I'm saying? No, no, it's just my eBay page. Oh. Yeah. Want me to link it for you in chat? You can do. Forward slash user. Forward slash. What was it? Better. Better with age. Oh, yeah, you're ugly. My pop up. There we go. I've got two better with age. I've got I, don't know whether, I don't know whether uh, that come up for everyone because I'm not a mod, so it might have just like. Hang on, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that now. Because um, oh, oh, if you put something in the chat, then I can make you a mod. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't show up then. Um, yeah, because I've got a better with age that I've got as my private account, and I've got a better with age that's my business account. But I'm just sorting out the business one at the moment. It's the one with six hundred and fifty-eight feedback. Is yeah, that right? that's it. Yeah. Someone give give me a negative the other day. What? You have zero negatives. It got removed. I mean, not a, no. Sorry, not a negative. A neutral. Oh. Are you now a spanner? Am I? You call me a spanner? Yeah. There we go. There you cool. go. The neutral was not original, as stated, but for yeah. post yeah. too high for sixteen sheets. Why are you scamming? Sixteen sheets of paper for twenty. Sixteen sheets of paper. Do you know what? I sent I sent <laughs> one sheet of paper and a little paper film prop today and it was three pound 36 pence or something and he's moaning about four pound 10 so it's going to be over three quid postage it's going to be the envelope it's going to be the bit that take ebay take off anyway he's i don't know what he's the bloke's deluded so i'll just put you know it's not it's not why would i sell like listen i've got I can get i've just, I just looked at the listing and the listing is for an Alice through the looking glass film prop. What did he expect it to be like the original script? Or it, something? 
Well, that's what what I said was like to people on a video was, what did he expect? Original drawings. Like you can't you you can't get that. You'd pay thousands for that. So, you know what? I'm popping out in a minute. Just chatting that bit. Do you want to come on to the live? No. Why? My wife's being unsocial. Am I? Okay. <laughs> I've got to take the vet, dog to the vets on Tuesday, 70 quid for an injection. You're costing me money, are you? you costing me money coming up here. Up. It's not my fault. Oh, everything's my fault. Come up here. Come on. Wait, stinky. Did the link show up in chat? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and you're saying you're not a mod? It shows that I'm on my screen. I think you just have to refresh. Yeah. As long as the link showed up, it did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if it has. I'll, I'll sort it out with you, Pete, anyway. I'll sort it out. But this is doing funny things at the minute. Like I say, it didn't even... Um, it wasn't... It's a couple of times, two or three times now, when I've gone live and people can't even chat. Oh, yes, yeah, that was now. weird. I, I kept getting a, I kept getting a weird um, error message. Hmm. And then as soon as I messaged you about it, it worked. I was like, okay. Yeah, well, that's why I always now I just put a little message in and it usually kicks it off. But that's the one, Pete, with... Uh, that's me, one with all my brother's stuff on. So, I say so the the, uh, the business one. I'm just redoing at the minute. So, yeah. Hey, where are you going? I just got to let the dog out. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, I'm still winning that TV, so hopefully I get it for a pound. You know, I bought a um, I bought a broken Dyson the other day. It was a DC DC seven or something. Oh seven. Is that the that purple one? Purple and green, yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, purple, green, silver. I think she wrote on there. It turns on. It fully works, but it like makes a really loud like noise. I was like, I know exactly what that is. I'll bid that for a pound. Got it home. Turned it on, and it would work perfectly fine. I was like, wait, what's wrong with it? And then all of a sudden, it was like, Grrr! I was like, ah. So I turned it off, took the bottom off, cleaned the the bristle, the bar, whatever, put it back in, yeah. perfect, like brand new. So and it makes, that, like people just can't be bothered to have a look at things like that. It's go, it's knackered. And the yeah. Dyson's so easy to like open the bottom because it's just like you just get a coin, a couple yeah, of it's things, a little, a little and bits it just on the pops off. You just cut all the hair off because it was wrapping around the uh, the cob. Oh, in, in my house, it's terrible. What a dog fur and uh, like three females with long hair. It was disgusting. Like if you'd scream at you don't like people's hair, then that's probably not a job for you. But for a quid, it was literally it was ninety nine p. I paid her a pound, so she got a bonus. I've done that with uh, that elect that vintage electric projector screen that I got down the garden. It's um, mm. I think it's about an eight foot screen. Um, it's electric. It's a real. It is an old vintage one. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I won it on eBay for 99p, and I thought the bloke is not going to let it go for that. I'm going to get like told to jog on, basically. Anyway, I got there. And he said, no, cut. I said, uh, whereabouts are you? He was he was literally two minutes from Leverett, so that was where I, I was sort of brought up most of my life. So I said, yeah, I know where it is. Drove up this massive house, and this Indian guy come out, let me in the garage, mm -hmm. and I give him a quid. It was 99p, I won it for, but the same thing. I give him a quid. I said, thank you very much. I felt almost... I felt almost like I was I'd broken his garage and I was robbing it. <laughs> Ninety nine pence. I felt great. Well, I, did, I said it I when I got it in the car, driving home, I thought, yeah, that's amazing. As long as it works. I was worried it weren't gonna work and then I got it home and it worked. And yeah, it was uh, it was blinding bit of kit. That's why I use Bay Crazy, because like you can find crazy stuff like when people don't want to bother shipping. And they just put it on eBay, 99p start collection only, and like no one sees it ever. Yeah. So you just snipe it straight off Bay Crazy for a quid. And it's like, yes, please. Steve Green's in. Hi, Steve. I hope you're good, mate. I was watching Steve's um, videos the other day, and one came up of him on holiday, and it was. It was about nine months after me and my wife had been at the same place on our honeymoon in 2017. He was there 
2018 and the next video of his that popped up was in another hotel in Gran Canaria where my wife had like been there every year for like 19 years on the trot and Ag, one of our really good friends was the entertainment manager there. Yeah. yeah it's really yeah it's nice seeing nice seeing the old places we know though yeah it's cool i just want i want to go on holiday i want to go on holiday i want to do car boots i want to just i want to i want to sell at car boots i want to buy at car boots and i want to do charity shops i just miss it i never thought i'd say that never thought i'd say i'd miss going in charity shops i don't think i've really ever been in one since my mum made me go in when i was a kid but I don't think I'd ever been in one until I was furloughed. Yeah. Uh, we find something else. I don't know. Someone just messaged me, like being a confused customer. Ah. Got the Dave in. Hi, Dave. Gonna go for a bit. Take photos. See you later, Ems. Thank you for coming in. I've got to go shopping in a minute. I don't want to. I've just been shopping. I went to Booker's and then I went to Iceland. The thing, so, the, the thing with me is, I've got to go and do the week shopping. Yeah. I'm going to my brother's tomorrow, so I ain't going to eat half of it. I should just leave bread and bread and butter. That's it. A couple of cans of soup. <laughs> Probably don't even know how to cook warm up soup, do they? No. No, the wife. The wife's a good cook. She My sister was like that. She only knew how to do a bit of toast until she was like twenty. She didn't know how to do anything else. I love. I, I, I don't do a lot of cooking, but when I do do it, I enjoy it. I made butterfly chicken last night. It's really nice. Really nice. Because she's always working late, so usually I get dinner done. I had a jumper up for fifty nine ninety nine. Someone sent me an offer for forty quid. I was like, you know what? It's been on there for a while. I'll just take the forty quid. And they don't pay for it. It's like I just given you a twenty pound discount. I've had someone you... bugging me for the past week to oh. send them a combined invoice for the, for the stuff they've won, and they, you know, I've been trying to get on top of everything else. And I thought I need to get these out of the way before I, I sort of send his invoice, and then he can pay, and then I've got time. Anyway, I, I sent him the invoice, and it's, it's been a week now, and he still hasn't paid. And yet they're bugging you to send him an invoice. It's just. Yeah. Crazy. Got all my tape and all that from Amazon the other day. I bought 36 rolls. Because I was going down the little bargain shop in Little Hampton. I was buying two little skinny rolls in a pack for a pound. I've got 36, 36 rolls of, and it's decent brown tape for £15.98 off of Amazon. 15 rolls for how much, sorry? Huh? How much was that, sorry? For 15? 15 pounds 98 for 60, uh, 36 rolls. 36. Oh, I say 50 rolls. That's pretty good. Yeah, 40, 40, I, ordered a load, I think I ordered, pence. Uh, I ordered a load from Bay Crazy. I was, I was thinking, like, it's free. Mm. It's probably decent tape, but then it's like free advertising. Every time I send out a parcel for eBay and it's got Bay Crazy tape on it, like, it's free mm. advertising. They might be like, wait, what's Bay Crazy? Darren's sending me a load of e-buy gum tape. Uh, he, when he texted me yesterday, he said, oh, you got five minutes. I went on, he went, what's your address? I'll send you a load of tape. So I've got a load of e-buy gum tape coming. Yeah, I've got some coming on the way. I don't know how long it would take to get it, but... but he, was, he was doing all the orders for it last night. He said he's sending loads out. Because yeah. he did say that, you know, I said to him, I said, it, you know, good reactions and people saying they're going to try it. And I think about 10 people off the stream contacted him. Said they were going to give it a go and that. And I think he's sending some tape out and... If the tape's right. good, I'll happily use it. I don't. I'm not one of those people that. Yeah, why well, not? eBay package has to have eBay on it. Like I don't care. Like I've sold yeah. it. You paid for it. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter how you wrap it. Yeah. Bye, Harry. How you doing? Harry Humpston from America. Hope you're good, mate. I think a lot of people, Jenny, just found out about the free tape, so they're like mass ordering, so they're, they yeah. might be a little bit behind. Yeah, Mark's ordered some. Yeah. Old Plus, Royal, Royal oh. Mail will only pick up like so many parcels a day from businesses as well. So yeah, you might be uh, in the pile ready for pickup and not. Yeah, I'm sure if he's had like that many people phone him and ask him for it or message him and ask for it, he's got to 
fair whack to send out. He must have spent a ton on, like, he bought like, a couple pallets or something for the tape, but it must have cost a fortune. I think Mike got loads of him, absolutely, but loads, because Mike was sending e by gun tape out to other people that had been given by him, so he must have had bundles of it. He should do, like, a system in the future, like, so people can't mug him off, like, he should do a system, like, for every, like, three sales you do, you get, like, a, a roll of tape, and then you can, like, cash them out, like, whenever you want. Mm. So you can cash out, like, ten rolls every time you've done, like, 30 sales or something, because then at least he's making money, well, yeah. in the future he'd be making money off the fees before he's, like, giving away loads of free tape. But... Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing about going on other people's lives as well. Like, cause, you know, like I say, you're going to have different questions for him than I had. And, you know, you're yeah, going to have yeah. different people in the chat probably than I had. I mean, most of them you'll have. But, like, you'll have other people in the chat that didn't see mine. And, you know, it, it, it is good. He's got to sort of get about and, and promote it, which is what he's doing. It's got to be done. Yeah, well, I don't blame him for doing the tape thing because the free advertising is going to help a lot. Oh, God, so. yeah. Ordered free bags as well. If you haven't ordered them yet, get on it because it's limited numbers. Well, hopefully, I'll stick some in there anyway. Was that like poly mailers? Because I didn't see yeah. anyone on there. Yeah, I think they're poly mailers. There must be one by now. I saw, the, like, I saw the carrier bag kind of things. Like the, there was like um, things made out of material or something. I know he said he's just waiting on another load because he's, he's low on stock, so he's just waiting on another delivery. He should get big sacks made up. Like, the, the Ikea ones or the Costco ones I use, you should get those made up with e-bike gum written on the side because I'm always walking around town yeah. carrying Costco bags full of stuff when I go car boot. Well, hopefully, I actually might send old Richie a T-shirt out and I'll be able to wear that. And I was going to get a T-shirt, but they only had small sizes, so I'd have to get like four, stitch them together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Exactly. Mark's saying poly mailers 30 at a time. That's all right, though. Mm. I say, I, I, sometimes I, if I haven't got anything, I'll send it out in a Tesco's carrier bag with a load of tape around it. So I used to do that. When I'd run out of a poly mailer, just grab a bag. I used to, tur I used to turn them inside out, mind you, so they were white on the outside. But mm. there's no difference between the quality of, like, although saying that, the quality of Tesco bags have like gone through the floor right now. But Back in the day, the old ones that you'd get Girl for free, yeah. which boggles my mind. Like bags used to be free. Tesco's used to pay for them out of their own pocket, and they used to be decent. Now we have to pay them, and, and I know that I know the money goes to the government, so they're still not making any money on the bags. Technically, mm. they probably are, but they've like reduced the quality of them. Like what? It makes no sense. Like. Nothing's changed for Tesco themselves. They've just decided, like, we'll make these bags trash because then we can sell expensive bags. Yeah, exactly. A pound well, Anya, and make Anya's, money. Got, Anya's got a load of mugs. Double Karma, she's got a load of mugs. She's in a nice little horse. Like, we like a mug, don't we, Jay? I like a mug. She's got, oh, she's got a nice little lot. Oh, dude, I have, I have like 200 <laughs> mugs on my store at the moment. Have you? Mm. I don't know. All them ones I got, I sold two of them, and it made the money back for all of them, so I've still got... It's still crazy. Got like, the things that people don't pick up, you know? I never used to I never used to look at them, but then I thought, oh, two boxes for a tenner, or 30, it was 20, was it 20 or 30? Oh, more than that, 6, 12. Uh, 36 mugs it was for a tenner. I just thought, it's got to be worth having a punt. I'd never done them before, and so I've sold two and got the money back. Yeah. So they are a good. Uh, they are a good thing to have. Definitely. They sit around sometimes, but you know, I've got loads of tubs full of mugs, and I've got a massive tray full of. Uh, it was like brand new, um, X stock, like flowery kind of mugs. They none of them are sold yet, mind you. So they might be a uh, car boot fodder at some point. But mm. I paid thirty quid for like a hundred and forty odd mugs, and I've sold like ten of them and made my money back. So they're just sat there now. Yeah. You can't go wrong for that. That's what I always do when I'm buying bundles of stuff. I'll, I'll look for like the one, two or three items that give me my money back. And then I see like see how much is left and like what the profit is going to be. Like, mm -hmm. If I could buy like a bundle of stuff that's like maybe not amazing profit individually, but there's that one item that will pay for like the 30, 40 quid back. 
then I'll pick it up because it's worth doing. Like I get my money back from the good item. And then yeah. if the other stuff doesn't sell, then I'll just sell it off at a car boot sale at some point. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we, we've done all right at a car boot. Yeah. Got rid of a load of stuff. I won't, I won't bother taking the uh, taking the sunglasses again until it's really sunny. Yeah, but it was really sunny and they still didn't do very well. It was annoying though because they didn't sell all day until like the last like 30 yeah, that's, minutes. That's the thing, it was just the last bit, wasn't it? it? And they, the last everyone started turning minutes. up. And then everyone started like getting the glasses. It's like wait, and, and the wallets, the wallets went all right, didn't they? They did okay, yeah. They paid for our pitch fees and a bit more. So, uh, what's my my store is? There you go. That's my store. That's my business store. I have a private store that just has old vintage eighties uh, pop pins on. Yeah, I done so well on those pins. I I spent four pound on that tub. Mm -hmm. Oh, that and I've box. Yeah, I've already made back like 250, 300 quid. And it's that, like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe you got them for that price. That it's like, nuts. it's like two thirds full still. That box. That's like, nuts, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've made a killing on that. Uh, mine, I bought thirty six mugs for a tenner. Um, I've sold two and got the money back, so I've still got a load. But I've only got half of them listed. Mm. As you do. As you do. You know when you get your um, when you've got your thing come up because obviously I do all my editing and that on my phone, but when you come up and it says uh, subscribe flipping sloth and seven k or something whatever it is, do you have to? Where do you get them done? Uh, I use the I've, I'll send you the link to the website. I use who done website. your who done your little sloth thing as well? This that yeah. that image on screen uh, yeah. that was well, I used to have a different channel that I used to. The like character for the channel was the sloth, and it was just a viewer that did it for me like a few years ago. Because I'm looking at getting a logo at the minute. I'm looking on Fiverr to get a logo done, but yeah, I actually asked that person whether they would do me an updated one. They never got back to me. They said yeah, but you know they're like they were like studying mm. for college or something. They're like oh I'm busy, I'll get back yeah. to you. Like a year later, I've not heard anything. So. Yeah. Hmm. Right, don't it. All right, I better wrap this up because I'm going to have to go shopping and I don't want to go shopping. Where are you shopping? Tesco? Oh, no, Aldi. Oh, I like Aldi. A little, a little. I like Aldi. Yeah. They do really good food. Years ago, I wouldn't have gone into a Lidl or an Aldi and bought food, but I'll tell you what, it's nice. Mm. I like it. Just as just as good, you just get ripped off at the other places. Do they still have that, like, um, those bins in the middle that's just, like, full of reach? Yeah, we had cheapy, cheapy drills and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes though, I've had a little mooch in there and had a little scan, and some of the stuff you could you could you can do a bit of RA on. Yeah. But most of it's just uh, most of it's just like you say, it's just old tat in it. Yeah, God knows where they get it from. I don't know, but they have bundles of it. It's they not even it. stuff. I'd, it's not even stuff like I'll pick up to sell on eBay. Like it's worse than the eBay stuff. Most of it. Some of it they had some big plushes in there the other day that were quite yeah. nice, but. You know, some of, uh, so, like when they do go through stages of selling like LED strips or something like that, I'll buy some because I'll just buy them for myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're not too bad then. But I'm right, going to wrap this up anyway. Jay, thank no you for coming on. Thank you for the chat. I'll speak to you soon anyway. Will do. Uh, Take care. We'll sort, we'll sort out a road trip or, road trip or two. Yeah. And thank you, everybody in the chat. Appreciate your time. Appreciate spending the time with us. No pressure as it is. And we will speak to you all again soon. Adios. See you later.